guys welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm going to share with you on how to change your YouTube cover okay so first you just log into your YouTube account and then go to your channel you can see that and then you can see customize channel just click that okay so here you can see your profile photo in here on the left side and the the rest is color gray there this is where your YouTube cover will place so you can just click add channel art all right so you just simply drag the photo which has a dimension of 2560 by 1440 and maximum file size is 6 megabytes but the safest the safest size of this YouTube cover is actually 2048 by 1152 or I can show you my my YouTube cover it's here and I can show you the how many megabytes is here or bytes here it's a 926 kilobytes only and let's go back to YouTube page now I'm going to show you just simply select that and you can try this on does it work? Okay, let's just wait. Yes, it says the photo that you uploaded is too small. It must be at least 2048 pixels wide and 1152 pixels tall. So the the file that I choose is too small so I just have to click that dismiss all right so how are we going to adjust the dimension of our YouTube cover you can actually download the fireworks 8 or this one macro media fireworks 8 a photo editor and it and it's easy for us to adjust the dimension of the photo so we just have to click this file and then go to new or just click ctrl n and there you can input the dimension that you like so youtube cover the safest one is 2048 wide and one 1152 height you can see here the resolution is 59.0495 uh, 49 okay and then you can just choose the canvas color if you like the background white transparent or you can customize the color you can choose what which color you like you can just if you want green you just click that so sample I'm going to do this pink no not pink maybe light okay just like white and then you just have to click that okay so here I'm just going to drag this okay so you see that you can, can close this now so this is just a sample and this is the original the size so I'm going to copy this okay I'm going to copy and paste here and, and then don't resample so from here you can actually move this no 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 yeah but make sure you move it using the edge so that you don't ruin the the picture so just like that okay and then go back there you can copy this one too just control C 
and then go back here and then control V control V don't resample and here you can move it here okay you can adjust just drag the corner to make it bigger you see that okay and then you go back there to another one to copy it again and then control V always choose don't resample last one is the other part the last photo okay so I'm going to copy that too and just paste it all right so I'm going to drag this just the same size of the top all right so if you can see it's still small you can see that it's still small so i can actually i can really just put it over and check the size so if you see that they're all they're all the same so i can drag it down now all right so you can change that so you can add some styles here okay you can actually add some styles or colors if you like just click that photo and you choose the styles here which styles you want okay you see that it changed if I click this it changed too just hang on okay it changes did it change <laughs> so how about this one the color change so this is the, the styles your option if you like also there they also have shapes here so the shapes can be added in the background the, at the back or at the front of the photo so you can actually choose so just like this okay you just drag that and then you can adjust how big you like okay so you can also adjust drag here you see and this one you can adjust there up so up to you how do you ad you adjust that and now it's good we can actually now save and you can see this one is 2048 by 1152 pixels so if you this is only 30 you can see if you're wondering there is 32 percent here it's 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 it, there's nothing to do with that it's just the size of how big you can see on the screen if i put 100 percent then you will understand what i mean you see that it's too big it's 100% it's like zooming in okay so this one I'm going to put in 12% now it's smaller we just have to we just have to adjust the dimension that YouTube requires so I'm going to put it in a 50% no no 25% okay so you see that now we can save save it save us so I want it to save in this PC so I want it to save it in my workspace alright so I put that is PIM and then save okay so now let's go back to our channel and click that select photo from your computer so this is the one I just I just save is PIM 
and click that and then open okay let's just wait it's still loading All right, there. You can see how it looks like on the TV. Here is uh, it, uh, how it looks like in the desktop. And in the mobile, it looks like that. And you can see it's, it is not, you can see that the desktop, it's still not showing everything. And, it sh and in the TV, it shows everything. And in the mobile, it's like, Cut. so you can check if auto enhance will work if not you can adjust the photo in the fireworks so let's go back to fireworks and make it smaller a little okay so just like that and drag this smaller Okay, so we're going to make it smaller. Okay, just adjust that. All right, so I'm going to adjust this too. Okay, so now save. Save as. And then just over click that is PIM and click yes. So now we can go and check again. So cancel that and then add channel art. Drag the photo from your computer. Okay, just click open. So this is how it looks your YouTube page in public. So if you have more questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below or you can actually message me on my Facebook page, Carnal Stojos, and maybe I can help you adjust if you can't do it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.